In the golden haze of yesteryears, where the screen flickered with tales of grit and gallantry, one show stood tall like an old oak in the vast landscape of television history. Picture this, it's a cozy evening, the sun bidding adieu in a burst of oranges and pinks, casting elongated shadows across the room. As you switch on the television, a world unfolds before your eyes, a land of sprawling ranches, dusty trails, and the unwavering camaraderie of a family like no other. This was your first dance with the 1959 TV series, Bonanza. Perhaps it was the rugged charm of the Cartwright clan that caught your attention, each member a distinct hue in the palette of brotherhood. Haas, the gentle giant with a heart of gold, little Joe with his impulsive spirit, and the level-headed Adam, all guided by the stalwart wisdom of their patriarch, Ben Cartwright. And as they navigated the wilds of the West, facing challenges that echoed the human experience, you found yourself not just watching a show, but feeling the warmth of belonging to their world. In the tapestry of time, moments from Bonanza are etched with an almost dreamlike quality. That time Haas broke into song, his rich voice echoing across the Ponderosa. The banter, the laughter, and even the somber moments that tugged at your heartstrings. Each episode was a journey, an exploration of values, friendships, and the boundless tapestry of family. But let's peel back the curtain and explore some lesser known treasures about this iconic series. Behind the scenes, a world of trivia awaits. Did you know that the iconic theme music, composed by Jay Livingston and Ray Evans, became an anthem for a generation? Or that the show's popularity soared so high that it was even adapted into comic books, a testament to its influence. These tidbits, like nuggets of gold, paint a richer picture of the show that captured hearts across the world. So, dear reader, take a moment to journey back in time. Let the memories of Bonanza's first encounter wash over you like a gentle breeze, and let those cherished moments resurface. It's a testament to the power of storytelling, where a simple TV series transcended time to become a cherished memory. And now, as we delve into the hidden gems that adorn the legacy of Bonanza, remember the warmth of its characters, the resonance of its stories, and the indelible mark it left on television history. It's time to unravel these intriguing facts, to dive into the history that shaped this beloved show. Bonanza, a popular TV series that aired from 1959 to 1973, emerged as a classic Western drama that left an indelible mark on popular culture. Created by David Dortort, the show revolved around the lives of the Cartwright family and their struggles in the 1860s Nevada. The central characters, each embodying distinct personalities, were Ben Cartwright and his three sons, Adam, Haas, and Little Joe. The show's unique blend of family dynamics, moral dilemmas, and the backdrop of the Wild West set it apart. Its enduring appeal lies in its portrayal of complex interpersonal relationships, ethical dilemmas, and the exploration of social issues of the time. The show's impact on popular culture is undeniable, influencing subsequent westerns and family-oriented dramas. It delved into relevant themes like land rights, racism, and economic struggles while maintaining an entertaining balance. Its approach to storytelling showcased the values of integrity, loyalty, and compassion, making it both engaging and thought-provoking. Bonanza marked an era of television where westerns flourished, providing audiences with not only riveting narratives, but also a glimpse into the evolving American identity. Now, let's dive into some intriguing facts about the show. The iconic theme music, composed by Jay Livingston and Ray Evans, became synonymous with the series, setting the tone for each episode. Michael Landon's portrayal of Little Joe earned him lasting recognition and laid the foundation for his subsequent successful television career. Bonanza was the first TV series to be broadcast in color by NBC, contributing to its visual appeal. The Cartwright family's Ponderosa Ranch became a recognizable symbol of the show, attracting visitors and contributing to the lore of the Wild West. Despite the series' popularity, it faced criticism for historical inaccuracies and the romanticized depiction of Western life. With its memorable characters, socially relevant narratives, and enduring influence, Bonanza remains an emblematic chapter in television history, capturing the essence of a transformative period in America's cultural landscape. Lauren Green and the Cartwright clan, a remarkable age disparity in the annals of television history, few shows have left as lasting a mark as the iconic 1959 series Bonanza. Set against the rugged backdrop of the Old West, the show captivated audiences with its tales of the Cartwright family's trials, 
and triumphs. One intriguing aspect of the series lay in the casting, particularly the portrayal of the family patriarch, Ben Cartwright, by the distinguished Lorne Green. Surprisingly, Green was a mere 13 years older than his on-screen progeny, Pernell Roberts and Dan Blocker. The on-screen age disparity added a layer of complexity to the family dynamics, often prompting raised eyebrows and speculation among avid viewers. Yet, Green's commanding presence and gravitas in the role left audiences entranced, rendering age a mere afterthought. While Bonanza remains a cornerstone of television history, its casting choices continue to be a subject of fascination. The chemistry between Green and his on-screen son's transcended age, demonstrating the power of acting to bridge such gaps. As we reflect on the enduring impact of this classic series, we're reminded that sometimes, the most unexpected casting decisions yield the most captivating results. Pernell Roberts, a central figure in the iconic 1959 TV series Bonanza, stood as a vocal critic of the show's portrayal of minorities. Roberts, portraying Adam Cartwright, expressed his concerns about the racist depictions of marginalized communities within the series. His objections ignited discussions about diversity and representation in a television landscape that often struggled with inclusive narratives. Roberts' bold stance echoed larger conversations of the era, challenging the status quo and pushing for more accurate and respectful portrayals on screen. This clash between creative vision and societal responsibility spotlighted the evolving role of television as a medium of influence. Bonanza, known for its family-centric Western storytelling, faced internal and external pressure to navigate these uncharted waters. The series, steered by producer and visionary David Dordort, embarked on a groundbreaking journey by casting lesser-known actors as the central family. Against the prevailing trend of relying on established stars, Daisy Arnaz, a key figure behind the scenes, championed the untested ensemble to prove the show's merit rested in its storytelling prowess, not celebrity clout. Arnaz's daring gamble defied network executive skepticism, a move that would eventually cement Bonanza's triumph in the Nielsen ratings. In their American Archives interviews, both David Dortort and Haskell Boggs said, Daisy Arnaz purposely hired unknown actors to play the father and children. Daisy wanted to prove a television show could be successful by the writing, not the star names. The legacy of Bonanza testifies. Despite clashes with NBC over casting choices, the show's soaring popularity validated Arnaz's convictions. As Bonanza navigated the treacherous waters of representation, the clash between Pernell Roberts' principles and the show's evolving landscape remains a testament to the power of television to challenge norms and spark societal dialogue. Dan Blocker's culinary legacy, from Bonanza to Ponderosa eateries in the annals of television history, the iconic 1959 TV series Bonanza stands tall as a beloved Western saga that etched its characters into the cultural fabric. Amid the Ponderosa's rolling landscapes and Cartwright family dynamics, a lesser-known facet of this tale unfurled, the culinary legacy of Dan Blocker, who portrayed the gentle giant Haas Cartwright. Beyond the screen, Blocker's entrepreneurial spirit led him to embark on a venture quite distinct from Hollywood's glitz. He opened a chain of steakhouses aptly named Bonanza, mirroring the show's frontier ethos. These restaurants shared more than just a moniker. They embodied a communal gathering space akin to the Cartwright's family values. Patrons relished hearty meals in an ambience that channeled the spirit of the Wild West. As time's currents swirled, ownership of the establishments transitioned leading to a rebranding. The restaurants transformed into Ponderosa Steakhouses, maintaining the Western theme while carving their identity. Amid sizzling platters and the aroma of grilled fare, the legacy of Bonanza persisted, now entwined with the Ponderosa's name. Interestingly, the compass points etched onto the show's opening burning map of the Ponderosa Ranch have sparked intrigue. The map, though drawn without compass orientations, appeared to befuddle eagle-eyed viewers. Yet, David Dortort, the creative mastermind, chose an unconventional path. Instead of rectifying the perceived anomaly, he embraced it, adding compass points that stirred debate over their accuracy. Unbeknownst to many, Dordort's design choice bore deeper significance. The compass points, though seeming to stray from cardinal directions, aligned with magnetic north, a deviation from the conventional true north. This deliberate decision transcended mere aesthetics, sparking discussions on intentionality 
and subtly echoing the show's theme of navigating one's own course in an ever-changing world. Thus, as Bonanza weaved tales of kinship, conflict, and adventure, it also painted an unexpected legacy through Dan Blocker's culinary foray and David Dordort's compass enigma. These facets, much like the characters' journeys, remained interconnected, etching an indelible mark on the landscape of television history. As the final notes of this narrative draw near, it's a fascinating juncture to invite you to journey into your own trove of memories, to reflect upon the captivating universe that was the 1959 TV series, Bonanza. Cast your mind back to those sepia-tinged afternoons or perhaps late-night marathons where the Ponderosa Ranch came alive through the screen, where each Cartwright brother became a steadfast companion in the adventure of your life. Bonanza wasn't just a show, it was a chapter in the story of your existence. An escape to the untamed landscapes of the West, a symphony of familial bonds, rugged determination, and moral dilemmas that echoed in the corridors of your thoughts. It whispered tales of camaraderie and integrity, tales that were intertwined with your very own experiences, shaping the lens through which you saw the world. And now, dear traveler of memories, I extend an invitation, a call to rekindle those embers of nostalgia. Reach into the treasure chest of your past and bring forth those cherished moments inspired by Bonanza. Was it the witty banter between Haas and Little Joe, or perhaps the stoic wisdom of Ben Cartwright that resonated with you most? How did the heartwarming dynamics of the Cartwright family mirror your own bonds? These threads of connection weave through time, bridging the gap between then and now. So, won't you share a fragment of your heart's tapestry? A memory, a thought, a feeling stirred by the echoes of Bonanza. Let's keep the legacy alive by building a mosaic of recollections, reminding us all that these characters and stories are more than just pixels on a screen. They are touchstones of our personal odysseys. With gratitude for your time and the stories you carry within, thank you for joining in this journey down memory lane. Until our paths cross again, remember that the tales we cherish stay etched in the sands of time, shaping us as we traverse our own landscapes of life. Warmly and with a nod to the Cartwrights, 